Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be doing something less productive, but more fun on our Pi Hostess series, which is installing Windows 2000 as a Docker. So let's get started. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, I will leave a link to the top left of the playlist of the Pi Hoses series to get you guys all caught up. Otherwise, we are gonna be carrying on and installing Windows 2000. Now, now Windows 2000 is an operating system I use for quite some time, and I really genuinely like that operating system. Now, installing it on the Raspberry Pi using a Docker, emulating the CPU, doesn't work great, but it works pretty well. It's not fast, but it, it works. Also, since Windows 2000 does not require much resources, we're able to at least divvy up one core and 512 megs of RAM to it, and it runs pretty well. Now, it is running Windows 2000 Server Edition, which means RDP is also enabled, and file sharing is also allowed, and it has networking. So it's got everything you need through one click to get this working, and you could play along with the retro Windows 2000 operating system, maybe install some old programs, or even try to install some new ones. Now, I will leave a link to a video where it actually teaches you how to install kernel X or extended kernel, and using that will allow you to increase the functionality of Windows 2000, unlocking TLS 1.1 and 1.2, which also allows you to install newer browsers like Firefox 50, I think it's up to, and a lot of other programs. That video actually shows you how to install programs that are not even compatible, where it requires Windows 7 and you could still install it. So check out his video. And he did a really great job on explaining what you need to do to get the system all up to date, including Windows Update. But for now, we are just gonna install it as a Docker onto the Pi. So let's jump into a desktop. So here we have our port tainer, and we're gonna go right over to our app template. And you could actually scroll all the way to the bottom to Windows 2000, which is right here, or you could just type it in. Now in Windows 2000, there is a couple of things you could set if you want, but you don't really have to change anything. You could just deploy the container but there are three options here. One, which is 3389, which enables RDP, 5900, which enables VNC, and then 6080, which enables no VNC, which gives you like, I'll show you guys in a second, a, a browser that you can log into, but that's where we're gonna put everything. And it does have a mount space over here. You could actually change this to, um, this is gonna be mount, but you could change this to whatever location on your host. So if you want it to be slash files slash, I mean slash portainer slash downloads, it will load over there too because it's a shared drive. So I'm not gonna deploy because I already did. And the first time it boots up, it does take a while because it does have to initialize and install some stuff. But we're gonna jump right into the desktop. So in here we have our Windows 2000 QEMU. And this is the guy, Hector, was the one who built this. If you check out his um, GitHub, which I'll leave linked down below, uh, he's got some information on what you could do to this, but otherwise it's all complete and you could run it. So first I'm gonna show you the web version, which I could go into 192.168, you know, my IP address and go into 6080 and head over to vnc.html, connect that. And that's the actual desktop of Windows 2000. And on the web browser, it actually runs pretty well. It's not bad. Like I said, the operating system runs. It's not super fast, but it does run. So let me show you guys what, right click, task manager. And you see this little share right here? That's the drive that we mounted it on. So if you have it pointed to your Portainer Downloads folder, this would be your Portainer Downloads folder. I'm heading over to performance. We have 512 megs of RAM and two cores. Oh, I was wrong. I thought it was one core, but it's actually two cores. And it's only using about like 62 megs of RAM usage. So that's not bad at all for running a Windows 2000 operating system. Also, like I said, networking is working. So if I wanted to go into um, the actual Pi hosted server, Oh, maybe I have it disabled for now. But let me see if I could go into another one. Yeah, there you go. So it does hit my other NAS. Um, yeah, I probably have mine disabled for now. But yes, Windows 2000 does work. And if you wanted to use VNC, I could probably pop into Remina. 
and RDP 192.168.105.92. Here we go. Now the username and password to this guy, the default is administrator and the password is password. Hopefully it pops up now, come on. It does, like I said, it's not fast, but it works. Oh, that is all messed up. Yeah, that is a little messed up. Maybe the resolution's all screwed up. Not really too sure. This doesn't happen when I'm using my Windows machine, but it does RDP in. Yeah, everything's all screwed up a little bit. I'm just going to disconnect from that. But you could also use VNC. VNC does work as well. So if I go into that, there you go. This is my VNC session. And it almost seems like no VNC is a little bit faster. But either way, it's VNC the same. Or you could use RDP. And I think it might be because my colors might be messed up. So let me see if I could right-click, properties. You know what? I'm not even going to try to attempt to fix it. But just for demonstration purposes, everything is working. And if you guys want to install any of your older programs to play around with, this is the way to go. Uh, so yeah, please have fun with it. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys like this little video, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.